Good evening to you. So how worried are you about these numbers? Ian, uh, this is a really bad news for our industry. Um, hospitality industry across the UK employs around 3 million people. Uh, most of those people employed by the hospitality industry, including takeaways, restaurants, hotels and so on, are um, European nationals. Really? And seeing numbers going down is, is a really bad sign for our industry. I would assume that most people working in takeaways were from uh, the Indian subcontinent yeah, and as so a, forth. As a whole, hospitality industry will be mainly from European nationals, but within our industry, uh, takeaway industry, curry houses, kebab houses, pizza places, you'll have minority BME communities who are from you know, Asian subcontinent or from refugee communities or other immigrant communities who have settled here in the UK to work hard, build businesses, create jobs, be part of their communities. They are beginning to see a huge difficulty in terms of finding, recruiting staff and retaining the staff they have. Don't, uh, don't British people want to do these sort of jobs? That's, that's an issue that we are having. We, we, you know, we need to face this and we are facing this now. We're, we're working with the government trying very hard to get um, a qualification into, um, into the, the curriculum so that young British men and women could see these jobs as, as careers. Because working within a takeaway industry or a restaurant is a rewarding job. I'm a good example to this. I came into UK as part of a refugee family from the Kurdish region of Turkey at the age of 14. I started working in a restaurant as a kitchen Porter, then as a waiter. Now I run five different businesses in London. I employ 60 people. So it is a rewarding job, but it was, there was no other opportunity for people like me but to go into this industry. But we've got to find a way to convince our young men and women to take up these jobs, um, you know, which are crucial to our uh, communities and economy. Now we've heard from Brandon Lewis, the immigration minister today, and he's been making the point that while net migration is falling, the number of people coming to the UK on confirmed jobs is, is actually going higher. So he suggests that shows the system's working for business. I mean, um, it might be correct for some businesses or some industries, but that's not the case for the catering industry, for the takeaways or for restaurants. You would not have somebody can have, a, have, a, have a, you know, a job confirmed to a European national before they actually arrive in the UK. Because, uh, you know, um, we are small businesses. We do not have capacities for as, as, you know, as such as large businesses who can advertise um, jobs across the world before they recruit people. We would only be able to advertise our jobs to our local communities. Most of those European people employed by our, by our industry are part of our local communities. They are our friends, they are our neighbours, they are members of our families now. So this is um, it's a very small community we are talking about and you know, when we advertise those, those jobs it wouldn't be somebody living in Poland or Spain or Germany applying for that job. It would be somebody living next door or somebody in another borough in London or in Newcastle or Manchester would be applying for this. Very briefly, do you think that because there's a perception that your industry is relatively low skilled, the government is going to be more worried about retaining talent in places like the city where there are high tax payers? This industry, British takeaway campaign, uh, or British takeaway industry, I chaired the British takeaway campaign. We, our contribution to economy is much larger combined than many other industries. I mean, we are contributing 4.5 billion uh, pounds to, to economy on annual basis. If you add employer spending, if you add a supply chain, this goes up to 9.2 billion pounds a year. And this is expected to grow. We're employing over 250,000 people across the country. Whether the government considers this to be a low-skill job or an upskill job, it's got to find a way to support us so that our industry can continue to grow and contribute to our local communities, but also to our national economy. All right, Abraham Douglas, got to leave it there. Thanks for joining Thank me. You.